I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR. We are here in London. Beside me is Ellis Martin. We tend to meet always in London. This is the only time we get. A couple times in Toronto. <laughs> this is the only time we get together, Tia. That's Why is true. that? A couple times a year at this conference. You don't. I send you texts. You never answer them. I call you. You don't call me back. <laughs> uh, I make him come to London <laughs> to see me. <laughs> so. so there's been a lot going on. Yeah. And we saw each other in May at yes. um, Minds and Money, Here now in resourcing tomorrow mm -hmm. um, in, in London. And this conference actually seems quite a bit bigger than the one in May. A lot of investors here, a lot of companies here. Um, what are you doing here? <laughs> in the most polite way. Why are you here? What are you hoping to get from <laughs> I, being here? What am I hoping to get yeah. from being here? Well, uh, I'm here because I was asked to be here on behalf of Minds and Money, now called Resourcing Tomorrow. Cool new name. Do you know why they changed the name? I have no idea. Do you? I don't. <laughs> I think it's more, I think from what I understand, it's more um, diverse. So instead of, um, it, it just targets, I think, a larger range of people. I think that, I think that was the, the reason. That's an interesting idea. And uh, I'd be glad to be in on their next uh, development meeting about name changes. Happy to we'll, help we'll out. We'll get back to it. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, what is going on in the market right now? Mm, what is going on in the market right now? Like, <clears throat> I'm an expert on the market. I am not an expert on the market. I am a journalist, as you know, like you. Mm -hmm. And I've been asked this morning, actually, by Claude Berlay, who's one of the well-known investors at this conference, he said, do you agree that uh, we're in a bull market right now for gold? And I wasn't willing to make a, a statement or a commitment about that because I honestly don't know. There's, also, there's a lot of false uh, uh, starts along the way. We could be. Gold has been so suppressed and ignored by everybody uh, because everyone's lost money. Many people have lost money investing in junior mining companies over the last few years, but yet here we still are here, all of us are, and when when there's blood in the streets, uh, you know, there's opportunity. And I'm here just to hang out with my friends and make new friends and maybe do some deals. And what have you been hearing? I mean, like we said, it's, you know, it's been a tough year. It was a very challenging year for a lot of people, a lot of changes, but what, I know you're a very social guy. You've been talking to people. What are you, what are you hearing? Well, I'm starting to talk to people again because after a while, I, I, I like to get away from everything and just be alone so I don't <laughs> have to talk to people. But uh, we can't edit that out, can we? You guys never edit out anything I want we edited will out. Edit. No, we at can edit all. now. Yeah, but you're not going to. Ask That's the okay. camera. It'll be funny. <laughs> it'll, it'll be funny when this is pervade. <laughs> um, here's what I think. Crypto has crashed and burned. I never got into it. I never believed in it. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of young folks have lost money. Many people have lost money in that area. As folks have lost money in, in mining, I think it's the perfect opportunity right now for number one, battery metals, because there's a, there's a global crunch going on in the supply chain and electrification of the world. That never stopped. We just don't have enough resource. And gold has been so suppressed, and I mean the equities, it's cheap right now. If you're looking for something to put money in, look for great companies. I've said this before, great management teams. They've got money in the bank, they've got the resources, and their stock is probably valued at maybe 10 to 25% of what it should be. Look for those deals, put some money into them. I'm not gonna give you any specifics. I can't. And then look away. And then at some point, you may get a five or 10 banger. I think that's why all of us are here. What do you think next year is gonna look like? 2023, right? I mean, we're, we're approaching it very quickly. I get a sense as there's gonna be a real bull market all across the board in mining. It's just gonna happen because the powers that be, whoever they are, are gonna decide, okay, let's do it now. And, and what you should do is be the first in and the first to get out. Mm -hmm. Because when that, when that does happen, and it will be parabolic, when that top happens, get out. Get in and get out. Because if you, if you want to look back over the course of the last 20 years, people have made money mm -hmm. in mining. Absolutely. And they're the ones who, who've helped set it up, mm -hmm. helped manipulate it, 
bring everybody in, and then get out. Like right. any other bubble. It's the same as any other bubble, real estate, uh, tech, crypto. So everything does eventually crash and burn, but before it gets there, <clears> there's a parabolic bubble. So we're about to see that. Now, Ellis, you have the Ellis Martin Report. Yeah. What's been going on? Who have you been talking to? <clears throat> tell, us about, tell us about the Ellis Martin Report. Well, um, we're carried over a variety of, thank you for asking, by the way. I couldn't Tia. have you in this chair and not ask about the Alice Martin Report. I appreciate that very much, <laughs> Tia. You're very kind and lovely. I like to think so. All right, back on point. <laughs> uh, we are a radio show. We have been for 25 years. I've been in radio for- You still for... haven't had me on your show. I'm waiting. I in didn't, Malibu, I didn't... California. Come on, Alice. I, I, will, I wouldn't mind a little sunshine right now. I'll, I'm happy to buy a plane ticket. <laughs> or would that be too solicitous of me? Uh, I mean, hey, go, <laughs> go from uh, rainy London, which is beautiful right now with the Christmas lights, to Malibu, California. That's, I'm not opposed. And you're probably never going to leave. That would be all right with me. <laughs> That's true. But wow. I would love to get on the show at some point. Wow. We had spoken about this in the past. You know, but you are talking to a lot of people. The show has been... You've been doing this show for years now. <coughs> 25 years. So what, what <coughs> has anything changed? Are you keeping the same format? <coughs> well, we are pervaded through the ABN Newswire out of Sydney, Australia, and New York to an audience of about 3.1 million people. Globally through Yahoo Finance, Thomson Reuters, um, Bloomberg, Scott, Stockwatch, a uh, variety of venues, and also on all podcast apps that anybody's really interested in. In addition, we're on the air every day in South Florida on Money Talk Radio during market hours. That is the venue. What I've been talking to primarily these days are companies that have lithium concerns, copper concerns, battery metal space, that sort of thing, and a few, and a few gold projects. And um, I think everybody's waiting for that bubble and everybody's getting positioned right now. All the clients are good, all the companies are good, much as the companies that you covered. We're, that's right. a beautiful watch, by the way. Thank you. I really like that Thank watch. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> will you be wearing that to Malibu? It is a good watch. It is, <laughs> I will watch. be, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I always try and bring it back to the lovely Tia. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just excited, you know, the market's been suppressed and depressed over the last couple of years. It hasn't affected my attitude. Mm -hmm. And if you look around and you've, you've spoken to many people, Tia, don't you agree that everybody's basically in a good mood and well positioned Everyone for what- Everyone is in a great mood. Yes. And you know what, I think people expect it. There's ups and downs in every industry and people expect that, you know, things aren't always, you know, this way. Well, they can't, they're not always that way, but when they start heading up at, in that direction, mm -hmm. when they start heading up in that direction, pay attention mm -hmm. and when and be there at the start, and then get and then when you're early. up here, get out, <laughs> get out. You know, if if you've made a if you've made a five x on your investment, or even a two x or six x, be happy with that. Don't wait for the ten x. Advice from Ellis Martin. Ellis, I'm going to go for lunch. Let's do that. Let's grab some lunch. Thank you. Always a pleasure chatting with you. And I'm going to enjoy some time with you over the next few days. Hopefully we'll see, you know, and speak to a lot of people and see, you know, what's going on in the market and what, what we can look forward to. Let's keep it positive. Always. Thank you, Tia. Nice to chat with you. Love chatting with you.